Welcome, brother. Do you ever feel that trying to overcome your pornography, sex, or masturbation addiction involves so much pain and suffering, especially when you experience withdrawal symptoms or you begin to notice those very strong emotions that you're medicating with pornography or masturbation? Sometimes the pain can seem overwhelming. I'm going to share a story from my journey, a personal story actually, that you might be able to relate to. But the purpose of this is to actually share with you a truth that I discovered about pain and suffering. I'm JK Maisie, founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach of the Porn Reboot System. We help high performing entrepreneurs, business owners, professionals and leaders end their out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation discreetly and confidently within 90 days. Let's get into the video. When I first got into a relationship as a rebooting porn addict, I was scared. So scared, in fact, that I literally had a mental breakdown. I had met a genuinely good woman. She was innocent, she was well-raised, she was feminine, she was beautiful, and she was caring. She wasn't perfect, but she was so undeserving of me at the time that God must have been playing a very cruel trick on me. Like, would I hurt her with my behavior? Could I keep my commitments? Did I, a filthy-minded porn addict who had acted out in the most disgusting ways, deserve such happiness? What if she found out about my past? Like, you know, the drunken, porn, and weed-filled nights that I woke up from and just kind of cleared my memory bank off because my brain couldn't handle the things I'd done. Like, should I tell her? How much should I tell her about my behavior? And what if I lost her? Like, oh my God, how could I handle that? And these thoughts hurtled through my mind with such intensity that I was rendered useless for weeks. You know, driving to work, I would randomly just inexplicably burst out into tears. And bewildered and confused, I'd call my mother, I'd be sobbing because I didn't understand what was going on. That was when my mom explained what a panic attack was. And that relationship, brother, it really did a number on me. You know, my heart would literally hurt when she was with me. And the pressure of my shame and low self-worth crushed me from within. I went through the motions of daily life just like a zombie, with dread in my heart and a seemingly just permanent lump in my throat. I couldn't handle intimacy. I couldn't handle someone loving me because I wasn't worthy. I didn't feel worthy. And a part of me craved the intimacy while there was another part that was terrified by its potential. You know, it was scared of the long four-hour calls at night. It feared cuddles, it feared long hugs, and hand-holding was so alien to it. Now, I remember the words, I love you, on the phone, and it elicited this internal emotion that I imagine could be compared to, you know, in a movie, a demon-possessed person reacting to a crucifix. When you've lived as an addict for so long, when you've never been with a beautiful woman for more than a week sober, when sex is exclusively for your pleasure, an escape from your irresponsible reality, then intimacy is a threat to your existence. So eventually I became convinced that I had to do something drastic. If not, I would lose my mind. So I went on a long silent meditation retreat and I proceeded to go through the most painful days of my life. There was no access to internet, no phones, no books, just 11 days of silence and 10 hours of meditation per day. And all my urges, which I thought were under control, they rose up with a vengeance. I mean, I had wet dreams almost nightly. I woke up with severe panic attacks and fear that was so severe that I would even wet the bed. And all I could do was whisper just, please God, please God, make it stop. And when the sun rose in that remote retreat center and I could see the other meditators like silently walking about, it was sweet relief from my agonizingly lonely nights. Then after a few hours, exhaustion would kick in from sleep deprivation. All my fears would just gather like a dark storm and envelop me for the rest of the day. Listen, on that retreat, I learned the true nature of pain and suffering. 
Have you ever experienced a mental pain that is so intense that you would have one of your limbs sawed off in exchange for releasing that pain? That you would beg some God above to just fucking get it over with and take your life because you'd rather savor the moment on the layover on your trip to hell than another split second of this agony? Well, that's what it felt like. And during the last few days of the retreat, I slowly came to this realization through the unrelenting assault of the experience that this pain was not going to go away, not anytime soon. There was no fucking way that I could live my life moment to moment with this pain, with this insanity. I had to accept that it might never truly leave me. It was my hell on earth. It was the price that I had to pay for my years of compulsive behavior, for running away from the pain for all those years. But something arose from that. As I slowly accepted it, I also stopped resenting it. As I sat with it, it curiously became slightly less bearable. Then I realized that it had morphed into suffering and it morphed into suffering every time I tried to run away from it. But if I stopped struggling and wishing that it would go away, it wasn't as bad. It was still rough, but it was bearable. And for a few brief moments, I experienced relief. Like relief which only came when I was deeply aware of it instead of deeply reacting to it. And in one of those moments, suffering stopped for me. But the pain? Well, it's a constant visitor, to be honest. And the further that I got away from my addiction, five years, a decade, now close to 15 years, its visits have become less frequent. It disappears for years, but some nights, like some kind of fucked up nightmare Santa Claus, it climbs down the chimney of my unconscious mind and it wakes me up with gifts of panic and jingle bells of terror. Now, I know that I'm not the only man who goes through this. Like many men are forced to take that leisurely stroll through the self-made hell of consequence. And if you do, brother, I want you to know that it's okay. You don't have to walk alone. Your freedom is going to come in solitude, but you do not have to do it alone. And I will gladly walk by your side through the fire. And I will keep you company through that landscape of irrationality, fear, dread, depression, and sometimes temporary madness till you arrive at your destination. And your destination is understanding of one universal truth. A truth which you must come to understand intuitively, not intellectually. That pain is a requirement of the human condition, but suffering is optional. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.